Hey, so welcome to the channel. I'm Harlan D. White, and as many of you know, I'm currently on a journey to eliminate almost $50,000 in debt. And so each week I share an update on my debt-free journey, as well as lessons that I've been learning along the way. I've been on this journey almost 12 months now, and as you can see over here, I've been able to reduce my debt by a little over $42,000 so far. In today's video, I'm going to provide an overview of where my money went in the month of April, and then follow that by an update on my net worth journey. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. You just got to get started. All right, so here is my spending for the month of April. As you can see, the total amount that I spent was $10,351.39. And the spend was a little bit higher this month because I actually got three paychecks in the month of April. The bulk of my spending or the largest percentage of my spending went towards paying down debt at 28% or $2,850 went towards paying down debt. Now, if I were to click into here, you would see that all of this debt actually went towards my credit card number three, which is the next debt that I'm looking to pay off in full. However, it does not include the amounts that went towards my 401k loans as those automatically come out of my paycheck each and every single paycheck and is not included in my net worth. So I don't budget for those amounts. So the next largest spending category was my family category at 23% or $2,374. And then my next largest category is my fire category or my investments category at 22% or $2,244.69. Now, if I were to click into here, you will see where my actual investment spend went to. And this was actually a shift in strategy from 2020 because in 2020, all of my uh, money, extra money went towards paying down debt. Whereas in 2021, I want to try to balance paying down debt with adding to various investments. So as you can see here in April, the bulk of my investments went towards cryptocurrency at 58% or almost $1,300, followed by stable coins at 36% or almost $800, and then stocks at 7% or $150. Again, these investments don't include the amount that I contribute towards my 401k or my HSA investments. All right, the next largest category was savings at 7%, followed by utilities at 5%, et cetera, et cetera. If you were to look down over here, you can see where all of the spend, I, where all of my spend went for the month of April. Now, the next area that I wanted to look at is my net worth. And so as you can see here, um, I started tracking my net worth in December 2020. And each month I've been able to reduce the amount of debt that I have and then also increase the amount of assets I have. So in December, my overall net worth was $23,000. January, it was $27,000. February, $30,000. March, $44,000. And April, $53,000. So, each month I've been able to increase my net worth. Um, I try not to put too much of a focus on my overall net worth number um, because I do realize that a large part of that has to do with how well my investments do. But I, I'm most excited about the fact that I've been able to reduce my debt over this time period. And so hopefully my goal is to be completely debt free by the September time frame. And so definitely stay tuned and um, let's see if I can make that happen. All right, that's it. All right, so that is the video. If you like the video, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you're interested in following me on my debt-free journey, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified of future videos. Any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Until next time.